I made millions of dollars investing in the Cleveland real estate market after the last crash. A lot of people think we're going to be doing uh, another crash. Another crash is kind of like in the middle of happening, right? And I'm here to help people like you make money, take advantage of that fact like I did during the last crash. One of those people is my man Air, uh, Morgan from Arizona. <clears throat> I was got those confused. I almost called you Aaron, Morgan in Arizona. Or Anyway, brother, you like me, have made a lot of money in real estate over the last crash. You made most of yours in Arizona, right? You built up a portfolio of about 2,000 doors. But now you see opportunity in cheaper markets. In this go-around, you want to hit up the Cleveland market, and I'm here to help you do that. I'm here to navigate you through that market, Morgan. And what I have for you today is a triplex that I think you are going to love. The cash-on-cash cash return out of this world, brother. Let's check it out. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal. You want to be here. Yeah, we're going to go out of state, but of course, you know my team's going to take care of that. Let's check it out. Welcome to the show, y'all. My name is James Wise, and if you have not done so already, why don't you go ahead and subscribe to Holton Wise TV unless you hate money. In which case, I don't know why you're still watching the show. But if you do like money, this is where you want to be because I make a lot of it for people like you. Okay, now, uh, what we're doing today, folks, we're going to be going over the numbers on a three-unit apartment building, this bad boy right here. Now, right off the rip, we're going to talk about the fact that this is not a pretty property, okay? They say beauty's on the inside. Well, the inside of this house looks like pure fucking dog shit, okay? But guess what? It's going to make you some money, okay? If you want to get into the glamour and the glitz, if you think it's like selling L.A. like you watch on, uh, you know, HGTV, you're in the wrong joint, okay? What we're doing is talking about low-income investing. We're talking about Section 8 investing. And it can get ugly. It can get rough. It can get tough. It can get downright stinky, okay? Y'all can't smell it, but you can watch it. Check out my Tenants from Hell show if you want to see some of the horror stories, right? So this property right here is a triplex. And this particular unit don't look too bad. Uh, all of the units are occupied, but they're occupied by some low-income tenants. And, you know, it's not glamorous in, in, in any fashion, right? Like, you know, this person's bedroom, it's a little gross, it's a little dirty, and, you know, they do their laundry in their bedroom, apparently, okay? I don't know, they just be having a, a washer just chilling on top of a freaking, you know, kitchen table there. I don't know what's going on. And, you know, what you got over here is, you know, you got a little bit of, a little bit of man boob on the side, you know, shout out to the listing agent. Great job out of you for getting the photos. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's not really a way to make this like particular video game type room uh, look like awesome. But like personally, I would have kept this dude's gut and titty out of my photo. But that's just me. I don't know. Uh, whatevs. The roof is looking pretty nice, though. That's that's pretty good. Hot water tank, that's probably like 10 years old. You got the furnaces over here. They're looking pretty good, okay? That's not bad. They're, they're probably like 10 years old, too. Hot water tanks last like 15 years, cost about a grand to replace. Furnaces last about 30 years, cost like 3500 to replace. Three updated electric panels, right? You got all the breakers. That is good. Okay, another shot of another hot water tank. Oh, wait, that actually gave the date right there. 2014 is when it was installed. Great, so this is actually only eight years old. Damn, I'm good. I said about 10, folks. That's uh, why you work with me, right? Because I've been around the block. This ain't my first rodeo. I've done $200 million worth of this stuff, right? Last time we had a buyer's market, folks, 08, right? The crash of 08. I made millions. I'm here to help you guys make millions. And I did it by getting down and dirty with properties like this. I made fun of it. I made some jokes. It's not that great. Just like that dude's physique's not that great. But I'm allowed to say that because I'm a fat dude too. It's not rude if a fat dude calls a fat dude fat, okay? It'd be rude if I looked like Thor. But I don't look like Thor because I love blue cheese. You know what I'm saying? Blue cheese and hot sauce. That's what it's about, okay? But seriously, this deal. Despite it not looking sexy, folks, the the money we can make on a deal like this is unlike anywhere else. That's why so many people are coming to the Cleveland market, right? And because we have the buyer's market now, because interests are way, way up, it's really going to involve 
uh, allow investors like me, investors like you, to turn some serious profits into this, right? The address is 111 4th Street, Illyrio, okay? It's like a half hour west of Cleveland. This is in the greater Cleveland market, right? That's where Holton Wise operates. $200 million worth of sales. We've helped you guys buy over $200 million worth of real estate. We have thousands of tenants, thousands of Section 8 tenants. We've done everything you could do in this business. And we represent properties all throughout the greater Cleveland area, right? Now, this is Elyria. It's a separate suburb, right? In the greater Cleveland area, we got all kinds of, you know, little cities and suburbs, right? There's like 4 million people. Like, that's the population we're working with, okay? Only about 400,000 of them actually live in the city of Cleveland. It's actually less. I think it's like 360, right? So Cleveland's a small little drop in the bucket of the greater Cleveland area. I say that to you because it's important for you to understand a few things. I like Elyria better than Cleveland. Okay, but we're still in the Cleveland area. Hopefully you guys are following along. I just try to make that clear, right? Because if you've seen some of my content before, you see that I talk a lot about these new lead certification laws in Cleveland. That's part of the reason why I like Elyria even more, because Elyria doesn't have to deal with them, right? We're still in the Cleveland area, but only the city of Cleveland has these new pesky lead certification laws. And of all the cities in the Cleveland area, Cleveland is, is, is trending to be a little bit less tenant friendly than a lot of other ones, right? So places like Elyria, in my opinion, are where some real opportunity is. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't still buy in the city of Cleveland. We're still making money there, but I just need you guys to know about those new lead laws. And guess what? I got a video on those in the notes below, but we get to avoid those here in this, uh, this place called Elyria, right? Which I really, really like. It's a C grade neighborhood. I've graded all the neighborhoods in the Cleveland area on an A to F scale. Check out the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods below uh, as you continue to research this market. So that's one of the things I like about this. The other thing I like about this is the price point. They just listed this at 95K. It's a fully occupied triplex. Sure, it had a little bit of issues, but we're really going to take advantage of the situation in the market right now, right? With those rates going way, way up, right? Fannie, you know, they're manipulating markets essentially, right? Is what's happening because, you know, runaway inflation, right? Seriously, let's go, Brandon. But anyway, inflation's up, rates are up. That's how we're going to make some serious coin. I want to do what's called a slow motion burr on this, right? Y'all know about the burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. Well, I want to do it in a slow motion way, right? And depending on how you want to do this, uh, you have options, right? Normally, when you do a burr deal, folks, you buy a property that is so fucked up, you have to immediately renovate it. Then you could move people in. Then you could refinance your money back out. Because it's so fucked up, you typically have to pay all cash, well, in this particular situation, you have two options. You could pay all cash, right? Or you could just finance it right off the rip because it is habitable. It is livable. Is it scuzzy? Yeah. Is it gross? Yeah. Is there a half-naked man's titty on the photo and now on this video, now published on Holton Wise TV for the entire world to see? You bet your ass there is. But a lender will still write a loan on this before you have to do any refi or any renovations, rather, right? What we have is not really something we're going to force appreciate based upon crazy amounts of reno. We're going to force some appreciation based on two things. The market shifting again, because I believe it will, number one. Number two, uh, running it the proper way. You see, the seller, okay, the seller here, they're not really running this the proper way, dude. We got a 1-1. One -one. Rented at 365, a 1 1 rented at 390, and a 2 1 rented at 440. All right, this is what the listing agent said. This three unit property has great potential to increase current rent rates. Yeah, dude, you're giving it away for free. Tenants are on month to month and will stay with property. New roof and steps completed this past year. New heater in one of the units. Rent has not been increased in 10 years on some of the units. Long term tenants in all units. As the rents currently stand, the cap is greater than 10%. Can always use some updates priced accordingly. Okay? The real rents, what Holton Wise will get the rents up to, folks, we're looking at 675, 675, 850. That's 2200 a month, okay? 26400 What's great about investing in small little apartment buildings like this, guys, is it's an imperfect market. You have sellers out there that are not pros. They're just mom and pops. We could pick this thing up right now at the list price, 95 k and it'll make a little bit of cash, okay? But we can really make a ton of cash by getting it to market rent. And we shouldn't even be able to buy this thing for this cheap, but 
for the fact that the seller is literally giving away the units and the units look scuzzy. They look gross, right? That scares a lot of other buyers over, uh, away from it, right? Buyers see it and they're like, oh, dude, 50-year-old man's freaking gut and titty in this, this freaking room and it's all cluttered. It's all gross. It looks like it smells like my grandpa's apartment when he was smoking four packs of Marble Reds a day. You know what I'm saying? People are not feeling that, right? But real investors, investors that are in the know, that have been doing this like myself, know that this is all opportunity for us to make money, right? And here's the thing, too, about interest rates in the Fed. Fannie Mae is projecting that that is temporary and those rates are going to go back down. I happen to believe that as well. So I think when it comes time to actually refi this thing, I'm thinking we'll have lower interest rates, right? So if we get up to market rent, folks, 2200 a month, what will this look like for the long term? Well, here's your cash flow, right, based upon fixed and variable expense estimates, right? I like to give you guys a real-life idea of what the numbers are really going to look like, right? If you're bringing in 26 k on your rent roll, you're not really making 26 k You got a lot of costs to factor in, right? But I believe, on average, this thing will make you close to fourteen grand a year. Now, 95000 before you actually refi it, I think we'll end up putting 20 k into it. So I think you'll be all into this deal at 115 But this is the cool part. I don't think you need to be into it at 115 immediately. You could buy it for 95 and then you don't have to do any repairs right away. And you could pay cash or you could put 25% down and get a loan. Now, right now, your loan is going to be you know, fairly high from an interest rate perspective, right? It's probably gonna be like 7% at the moment, but I think that's temporary. So the plan should definitely be to refi this out later. Now, here's the cool thing. We have three tenants all been there, like they said, like 10 years, right? 365, 390, 440. We got to get these folks up to market rent, okay? Now, <clears throat> you can't get an apartment for those prices anywhere, right? So we want to increase their rents. Do I think we can get them all, all three of them, from where they are today to market rent without a turnover? Probably not. That would probably be unrealistic. But what I like to do and what's proven to work for me, managing thousands of tenants throughout the years, is I don't go immediately from where they are to market. I like to like split the difference by like you know two or three years, right? So we want to slowly increase them up because if we can get them to market rent without having to turn the units over, that means we don't have to spend any money on renovations. There's no renovations that need to happen. You only have to do renovations if somebody moves out and you got to move a new tenant in there at market rent because you've seen the pictures. Nobody's fucking moving into those units with somebody else's scuzz, right? But you'll live in your own fucking scuzz. It's your scuzz. You know what I'm saying? So. That's the plan. Slowly increase the rents. But being a realist here, I don't want to give you guys the false impression that odds are good all three of them will go from where they are today to market rent without you having to do a turnover. So what I've done is I've factored in about twenty grand worth of reno. And that's going to get you uh, maybe rock and roll, do a unit turn, a full unit turn on that two-bed unit, or possibly do a unit turn on both of those smaller one-bedroom units, right? It's hard to, to gauge exactly how it'll play out because there's an unlimited amount of variables at play, right? We have no way to know exactly how these folks are going to react. Uh, but I think factoring in 20K is a fairly uh, realistic and reasonable projection for you, right? So if that's the case, I believe by the time you get everybody to market rent, you're at 115K. And at that point, that property should be worth 135000 I think the market will be in a better spot. I think uh, interest rates are going to be lower. And just the fact that you're getting that hell of a fucking badass rent roll, you got a $135,000 triplex, folks, that you're only into for one hundred fifteen, and the bank then is going to kick you back one hundred and one two fifty, dollars meaning you only have $13,750 tied up into the deal, which, believe it or not, would be a return on your cash of about 58%. That is how you make millions in this business, folks. It's not going to happen overnight, but you got to play with the market, right? There's a lot of things at play here, right? Prices are going down. That's allowing us to pick this up for 95. The particular seller is, is not a trained professional landlord. They're not running this the appropriate way. That's allowing us to pick it up at a discount. Their listing agent is not really putting forth a lot of effort, a la that dude's titty, in the footage, right? This is all factors that allow savvy investors like me, savvy investors like you, to pick up properties and create some serious value, doing what I like to call the slow motion burr. And the best part, remember, 
If you don't have the full 95 in cash today, you could just get a loan right now because it's still very much uh, livable. It's going to you know, go through the uh, appraisal process and the bank will have no problem writing a loan on it. Normally, when you're doing a deal like this, where you're creating that equity, right, that 20K in equity, you do so through a monstrous renovation, not here. Here, we're taking advantage of time in the market, place in the market, my level of knowledge, and the lack thereof from the seller's side. Let's go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.